Public service announcements! A new Mac update just dropped, macOS 15.4. And here's everything that's changing on your Mac in under 4 minutes. Like in Photos, where there's a brand new Apple Intelligence feature. You might have noticed this already. The Photos app sometimes creates short highlight reels from past moments, like your birthday party or a vacation. Now you can prompt your Mac for a specific memory and the AI picks matching photos and videos from your library and adds music that fits the vibe. But here's the thing, the more specific your prompt is, the better these movies turn out. So just for instance, you can include people and pets your photos app already knows, specify a time frame or location or even suggest a music style. And I like this feature, it brings up old photos you forgot even existed, which is great, unless it reminds you of that one experimental haircut face. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Though, just to be clear, these videos are far from perfect. That's why we can easily make edits like switching the music, adding a filter, shuffling the order, swapping out photos and videos, or deleting the ones that don't fit. Oh, and before I forget, you can also export these videos and share them with anyone. Now, just before we're getting to the biggest upgrade of 15.4, the brand new Mail app lets rapid fire six smaller changes you might have missed. Like in the Passwords app, there's now a timer next to your two factor codes so you know exactly when they'll expire. Oh, and we're getting seven new emojis. I know, groundbreaking stuff. Drop one in the comments if you're already on 15.4. Man, people are gonna be very confused if they skipped this part. And yes, Apple also blessed us with a fresh new wallpaper, thanks to the new sky blue MacBook Air. But what's actually useful is the new quick start feature when setting up a new Mac. We know this from the iPhone or iPad. It automatically transfers all your settings and iCloud account to your new device. Back to Apple Intelligence, you can now use it in 8 new languages. French, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, Japanese, Deutsch, Korean and Chinese. And speak of which, the Image Playground app also got an upgrade. We now have a third style baked in, Sketch. And I like this one, it pairs super well with the Notes app. Just don't use it to create images of people you know or even yourself. Trust me, big uncanny valley alert. Now, the biggest change of 15.4 has to be the new Mail app. And let's just say, this is where things start getting a bit messy. For starters, AI now sorts every new email into four categories. Primary, so the most important stuff, transactions, updates, basically newsletters, and promotions. But here's the thing, out of the box, they don't work well, at least in my experience. It now feels like I have to check four separate inboxes instead of one, to make sure I don't miss any important emails. And let's not ignore the fact that in my testing, obviously important emails like send me the files within 24 hours or you're fired are sorted under updates and not primary. So if you want to fire the new category feature, you can either permanently stay on the tab all mail or switch it off completely in the view menu. But if you do like the idea, you can train the system to make it work better. If an email lands in the wrong tab, just right click it, pick another category and future emails from that sender will go there automatically. You'll find more info about each category in the view menu, which is also where you can reset any manual changes you've made. So yeah, short and sweet video for this one. And one last announcement. If you want to unlock all 21 new AI features on your Mac, you should watch this video next. All right, I'll see you there. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.